The Alabama Democratic Party is in crisis, the result of years of inept leadership by party chairwoman Nancy Worley. Previously on Kyle Complains About Things. Nancy Worley is incredibly bad at her job. She pleaded guilty to asking public employees to help her campaign. Worley let the party's domain registration lapse and someone replaced the party's website with ads for weight loss scams and cheap abortion. Worley demanded candidates pay money into a PAC, which at the time did not legally exist. Worley has paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees fighting the Democratic Party. And the question I keep getting is how? How is this person still in charge? Who put her there? Who keeps her there? The answer is complicated, but if you really want to know, take a deep breath because here we go. Under party rules, the party's executive committee is supposed to match the demographics of Democrats in the last presidential election. And the state party has defined that strictly in terms of black and white. Now you're probably thinking, what about all those other people who aren't either of those things? Well, we will get to that. The process begins when Democratic voters pick their district representatives at the polls during primaries. But those elected seats usually skew wider than a perfect match. So the party adds at-large members to balance things out. And who picks those at-large members and how is a really big deal. Under the old party bylaws, the minority caucus chose who filled those seats. If you're confused because the minority caucus is actually a majority of the committee already, you're right and just, just hang on. Here's where things get really screwy. A majority of the minority caucus seats are controlled by a sort of party within the party called the Alabama Democratic Conference, a political organization led by longtime party boss Joe Reed, who supports Nancy Worley. At first, ADC doesn't have the votes to pick party leaders, but because it has a majority of the minority caucus, it gets to add more ADC people as at-large members until, ta-da, ADC has a majority and picks, for some reason, Nancy Worley. Even though all these other folks over here, a majority of the elected members can't stand her and can't stand Reed either. And this system isn't that formal or even rule abiding. I've personally witnessed Reed just walk to the back of the room and hand someone a hang tag to somebody he knows and say, congratulations, you're on the committee now. Frequently, all those other folks, black and white, hold hands and push back on Reed and Worley, but because of this system, they can never get to a majority unless someone changes the system, which is exactly what the Democratic National Committee has ordered them to do. The DNC has gone beyond seeing the world only in black and white. There are other demographics that matter too. LGBT, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, people with disabilities, and this is the big one, young people. This is, after all, the recipe for Democrat success. It cobbles together lots of smaller constituencies to build majorities and win elections. And earlier this year, the DNC ordered the Alabama party to make room for all these other folks on the state executive committee. But Reed doesn't want those folks on the committee and he and Worley have fought like hell to keep them off. The other problem the committee has is it is old. Youth defined by the DNC as people under the age of 36 make up more than a third of Alabama Democratic voters, but they hold fewer than 8% of the seats on the committee. What Worley and Reed fear is that once all these other constituencies have a place on the executive committee, the ADC majority will be diluted. And they're probably right. Not the African-American majority, mind you, because no matter how much Reed and Worley want to say so, ADC and black voters are not the same thing. Just look at history, like 2008, when the ADC endorsed Hillary Clinton in the Democratic primary, and black voters picked up somebody else. This is, as DNC member Harold Ickes has said, about power, not race. And Reed and Worley are clinging desperately to power. But their time is running out. If you like this video, follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, all the things. For Reckon, I'm Kyle Whitmire. Thanks for watching.